I didn't learn about being intersex until much later in life, till I was 23. I remember growing up and they, you know, everyone from my father on down to school officials kept trying to make me be more masculine. It was kind of rough growing up because I had very few friends. Almost nobody wanted anything to do with me. Uh, I was kind of a weird kid. <laughs> so I think I was kind of scapegoated and looked at as the black sheep from early, early on. Basically, I'm partly male, partly female. And the doctors did surgeries to make me look more male. And they put me on um, hormones to make me more masculine. Basically, I have a penis and testicles, but I also have scarring where they set up what was my pussy. <laughs> you have to be a male or a female. We live in a binary sex world. There's nothing in between. I don't even know if my parents knew. They never talked about it, but my father was a minister, and both my parents were very Christian, and they didn't talk about those kind of things. Back in the 50s, when I was born, often they just took the baby to another room, did surgeries, and then brought it back and said, oh, you're the proud parents of a whopping boy. <laughs> Think about all these old men playing around with my genitals and playing God with them just felt icky and weird and felt a violation. And I, I think that's why I still have anger with the medical community. Everything felt hopeless. I finally got a job working on ranches and I did that for a couple of years. And then I had this other ranch hand that said, hey, I wanna go to college, I want you to go with me. And I finally said, okay, I'll show you how bad an idea this is. And we went to college. <laughs> and then I finally graduated and then got a master's degree. It was through this time period that I took a sex ed class and I discovered that I was hermaphrodite. They call it intersex, but I like the term hermaphrodite. Uh, we have a heritage from ancient civilizations where the hermaphrodites were the shamans and the spiritual leaders. They had a function in place. It was one of my first boyfriends that got me into BDSM and especially the healing and spiritual side. Basically, it's all about power exchange. Uh, it's one person giving up power to another and letting them take total control of the scene. For the first time in my life, I had safe words and things would stop. And that, I think that alone was so empowering to that inner scared child inside. It was just the feeling that I, things were gonna get better and that at some point, my true colors were gonna shine brightly in the world. Yeah, I'm weird, I'm different, and I'm proud of it, baby. I like <laughs> who and what I am. And I didn't always feel that way, it was a process. But I came to love being who and what I am. <laughs>